Welcome friends. So here we shall demonstrate the solution strategy to solve a problem on sections of solids. So basically here we are given the true shape of the section so uh, in the statement and we have to define the location of the section plane and after that we have to complete the sectional uh, view of the solid. So as we read the statement, so here the diameter of the cone is given to us that is 200 mm so that means its top view is possible so we have uh, shown the top view of the cone as a circle so of uh, 200 mm diameter so already uh, put in place now here further what is mentioned is it is cut by an AIP such that uh, a true shape of the cut section is an equilateral triangle of 175 mm side. Now the triangle from a cone can be obtained by a section plane when it passes through the apex. So it has to pass through the apex and some inclination you give you will get the or, or, or any plane passing through the apex of the cone will give you a triangle. But the uh, inclination of this so will make different shapes of the triangle so in some of the cones the equilateral triangle may be possible in some others it may not be possible now if the equilateral triangle is to be possible so we will have to design the height of the cone such that uh, the, the given thing is possible so we have to basically arrive at the height of the cone in this problem to meet the requirement here. So as you know we need the triangle of 175 mm so let us make that uh, true shape first so, so that will help us in identifying the location of the section plane for the cone. So we start with locating the true shape so which is the equilateral triangle so we use polygon command with three sides so edge method and the edge length can be equal to uh, 175 mm or 1.75 AutoCAD units this way we put now I'll what I'll do I'll uh, move this true shape so as to place it symmetrically so what I do I'll move this thing uh, towards the center so that it is symmetrically distributed across the center. Now if I want to get this triangle I have to cut the base according to this height. So what I will do I will draw a line passing through this and the horizontal it should cut like this. When where it, this line cuts so I will draw another line like this. Now the cut section or the cutting section should cut the cone at this diameter then only because it was otherwise 200 mm diameter. So if the cut section cuts the cone base at this location then you will get the required dimension of the cut section. So at least one dimension the base of the triangle will be possible. The other side should pass through uh, or, or, or uh, the cutting plane should also pass through the cone. So it will be cut by an AIP which will be visible in front view. So but so one thing is uh, it has to pa also pass through this part. Now uh, uh, what we can do so from here so we can locate the base of the cone in the front view at least so base of the cone we will locate somewhere so on placed on the ground and its height is not known but definitely its apex will lie at the middle so apex will lie on this line I, but we don't know where exactly now to locate the apex so please note the uh, the generator of the cone so this is 
this one also is one of the generator of the cone so, and because it will be the cut section the cut section uh, passing through the apex and other side of the cut section when it will cut the base so definitely so the cut section uh, the true shape of the cut section will include the true length of the generator the true length of the generator that means is equal to 175 so what we can do we can draw a line from this point not not the line rather the arc with the center here so if i take the length of the line or uh, length of uh, the radius of the arc equal to 1.75 then I draw the arc so I know for the generator so from this point to this point but it was to be the line so line from this point to the intersection here so this gives me the apex of the cone so I locate it like this so from this point itself from this intersection I can join it on the other side also in this way the cone can be made so this one I don't need now now about the location of the uh, section plane so line I will draw from this end and uh, the vertical has to be drawn like this so I know the section plane has to pass through the apex so I can mark one end of the section plane this side I also know that section plane has to cut the base uh, so, uh, at this location so I'll get it that way also then I can remove it or uh, I may choose to retain the other part uh, so this is the location of the cut section you can show it with green color like this so the other uh, uh, way of locating the section plane so mm, that is keeping getting the height here okay so if you know you can even measure dim using dim command even so this is to dim horizontal from this point to the end here you see that it is 1.51 it is 1.5155 so that means so this was the location so 1.5155 so you can measure so this length equal to 1.5155 so that way you verify again that uh, this is the location even this thing in a way you can use to locate the section plane so you have two ways of locating this section plane so now the section plane is located solid is located now you can make the required section view so you join from here to the intersection this side and uh, you can trim the rest of the portion here and from here you can join it you can even trim portion and you can hatch it hatch this also and this way your object will be completed So this is complete.